Is it time to change your engine oil in your k and Defender? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. My name's Kristen and this is Maintenance Matters. You're going to start by removing the 17 millimeter bolt for the drain plug. There it goes. You'll want to inspect your drain plug for any kind of metal shavings. This one looks like it's in good shape. If there are metal shavings, you might have to check your engine out and see what's going on. Also, you'll want to double check, make sure your washer comes off. Sometimes it'll stick to the machine itself. Make sure that's on there and not bent or damaged. If it is, go ahead and replace that in the process. Once your oil is done draining, you can reinstall the drain plug. Now we're going to access the filter and remove the cap. Have a rag ready before you pull the cap off so that you can catch any oil and keep it from getting in your skid plate. With your old oil filter removed, you'll want to check the ring that's around the cap. Make sure it's in good shape. If not, you can get a new one from your k &M dealership. Clean any old oil out. When reinstalling the new filter, you can set it down in the cap. Take a little fresh oil and rub around your seal. Make sure it gets a good seat inside the engine. Press your filter back into the engine. Once that's seated, you can reinstall your bolts to your cap. Next step is to fill the engine with oil. Remove your dipstick. Set that aside. This is gonna take two liters of oil. Once your oil is filled, reinsert the dipstick. Thread it in all the way. Run your machine for a few minutes to let the oil cycle. Now remove the dipstick, pull it out, clean it off, slide that back in, thread it in all the way. And we are good to go. Reinstall the dipstick, tighten it down. Clean up any excess oil that you may have spilled on the engine. And that's it. That's how easy it is to change your oil in your K&M Defender. Happy riding.